Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Public News Podcast. I'm here with uh, Get Bent, and uh, you guys just uh, the kids came off stage, and you guys uh, killed it, man. It was awesome. I uh, got uh, John, Eric, Andrew, and Justin here. Guys, introduce yourselves, man. Thank you. I'm John. I play bass. Uh, I'm Eric. I sing. I'm Andrew. I play guitar. Uh, I'm Justin. I also play guitar. Very cool. So, all right, man. So. Because uh, this is being played live, you know, mm-hmm. on on, uh, on streaming online right now, so oh, people sick. are gonna watch it and then just put the podcast to go out probably at the end, of, the end of the week, and you know, people are gonna want to you know check you guys out. Where can they find your music? Like you know, work you know, you guys you need music out. I know you guys are kind of fresh, but uh, we just got done recording, um, so we haven't put anything onto the band camp yet. But we do have an Instagram, and then we'll probably post that stuff onto the Instagram. Cool. So so how, you know how to get bent? How how do you guys? You know, get uh, together. How long? What's your history? It's kind of a product of like COVID. You know, uh, myself, Andrew, and our drummer Adam, who's not here. Uh, we all used to be in a band called Three Day Holocaust together. Okay. And when COVID happened, we kind of all like took a break, as everybody mostly did. And we we're still like paying for our jam space and all this shit. So we decided, uh, you know. Just don't show up if you're sick, and everybody could still jam, you know. Yeah. Um, and us three would were the mostly the only ones that showed up, um, and our bassist ended up moving out to Texas, so that kind of like put everything off. Yeah. And our singer wasn't really doing much, so we kept jamming, and with the intention of kind of changing the direction of Three Day Holocaust, uh, but that kind of like I said, fizzled out with everybody moving out of town and whatnot. Yeah. So we decided to get a couple other dudes and just, you know, see what happened. Um, and we did that for a little bit. So we played maybe like two shows in 2020 with some other members and another falling out and half of those dudes left. And it was just us three again. Uh <laughs> Three years later, I guess, 2023, um, these dudes are also in another band together called Small Package, and we decided to kind of just, like, bring everybody together, because we're all paying for the same space, all there all the time, so why not? Um, And yeah, been jamming for the last, I don't know, close, better part of a year. We've been, me and Andrew's been jamming together since we were, like, 12. Damn. Yeah. Andrew, I like your jacket, dude. Thank that you very was, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then my brother's the drummer, so like we've been playing music for like, yeah, I don't know, I don't remember 20 how long. Years more? Yeah, yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah they, that was a killer show they played here night before uh, Thanksgiving. That was that was that was crazy here. <laughs> so Sick. he's gonna remember. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really <laughs> don't. Like, like, Annihilation time show. Oh yeah. Yeah, they, they that, played here. Yeah, that a time show was. F- that was so crazy. Crazy here. That was a great time, man. So, um, you know, um, you know, people are gonna watch this. They're gonna listen to your music and stuff like that. So, you know, I'll, I'll start with uh, with John. You know, what got you into music, man? What made you want to, you know, start playing music? Um, when I was in high school, uh, I had a bunch of friends in bands, and uh, I started to kind of shift towards metal. And so, um, I started playing bass uh, at. 16 and ever since then it's just like kind of diversified especially with playing bass like you start to get into funk and like all this other stuff and um that's where my love of music kind of stemmed from from like high school and friends who were in other bands well one of my favorite artists in the world is les claypool yes yeah for sure that's seen him so many times man his watch was like what the fuck how did he do that shit? yeah he's (laughs) he's one of my top favorites yeah he's incredible man incredible so eric what about you bro uh, so what got me into music was uh, we had a friend because we live in the same neighborhood. We grew up in the same neighborhood. So we had a friend down the street whose older brother was in the band called Stink Palm. And we would go over there to watch them practice. And then that's what got me interested in, in like music and punk. And yeah. Right on. Yeah. So where, where, where are you from? Where did you grow up? Uh, we grew up in Ventura. 805, right? Yeah. yeah that's very cool, man. Mm-hmm. How about you? Yeah, same thing. Like we, we, yeah, we'd go to his uh, brother's house and watch them practice. And then uh, his name was Derek. His older brother was in Stink Palm, Alex. And uh, Derek taught uh, my brother to play drums. So 
you know, I naturally just like wanted to play guitar. So, and we just tried to start bands like ever since, like rotating members until like, yeah, about like we found Jay and I've been playing since then, you know, so it's been me, him. And then like, he's been in different bands that, you know, without Jay, but me and my brother. So, yeah. Yeah, there's a, lot, I mean, there's a lot of incredible music coming out of the 805, and you know we get a lot of bands come through here, and it's amazing the talent. You know, yeah, this place just, rocks too. Really like so much talent, it's it, like a damn. It definitely opened up a door that was closed for a while, you know, especially again with all the COVID shit. Yeah, uh, I never shut my doors. Fuck that. I know. Yeah, it was awesome. Fuck yeah, it was awesome. Fuck you could still eat here and then go to a show. Like yeah. it's killer. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy, man. You know, some people, you know, they come here and they are you know, sitting down inside eating and. You know, live music's playing. I never forget one lady just grabbed me by the arm and she goes, "Are you the owner?" I was like, "Yeah." And the lady's got tears in her eyes. You know, she's just fully crying. She goes, she's "Like, I've never, this is the happiest moment of my life." You know, I forgot what live music was, did for me. You know what I mean? And it's crazy that the world got to a point where just sitting inside, eating, and listening to live music brings tears to your eyes. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you, you know, so much depression was going on and all this crap because people were locked up in their own homes and you know prisoners <laughs> of nothing. You know what I mean? Right. And, yeah, you man. know, but that that was crazy. And that's you know that's kind of you know that's why I did it. I did it for the people and you know and stayed open and we won. You know, yeah, so, we're yeah. stoked. We're great. Yeah, I mean, I'm but, grateful for sure. Yeah, and yeah. then that you know the whole music scene st started from there. You know, because we didn't play any music prior to that. I just did it to piss off the government. And, <laughs> <laughs> and so we moved forward. But Fuck yeah. So 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 what about you, Justin? Man, what's your uh, inspiration? I mean, music has always been like a really big part of my life since I was a child. You know, most of my family was like musicians, guitar players, and mostly like, you know, acoustic, just family jams, you know what I mean, when everyone was together. Um, and my f grandparents bought me a guitar when I was like 10. Yeah. Uh, and I like tried to mess with it. My uncle played guitar and was, you know, trying to show me some shit. And I wasn't learning as quickly as he would have liked me to. So we stopped doing it. I put the guitar in the closet and said, whatever, fuck it. And a couple years later, when I was like 12, um, I was super bored and went into the closet and grabbed that guitar and checked it out and ne never put it down, you know? Good for you. Um, but as far as like playing in bands and whatnot, when I was in middle school right here at EO Green, uh, some kids in my class or like PE or whatever, they were all into music and playing in bands. And... I would go, started going to their band practices, and their bass player, like, would never show up. He was always surfing or whatever. So, one day, they were just like, hey, dude, <laughs> why don't you pick up the bass and see what happens? Yeah. And started playing in this band, um, playing bass. And then I thought I was a drummer forever. And guitar just, like, kept pushing its way into my life and been cool. doing it ever kept since. Kept calling you. Yeah, right? <laughs> Oh, well, Ben, uh, hey, you know, I, I appreciate you guys coming out tonight, you know, for Marco's birthday and, you know, jamming and you, you hope you guys come back, man. No, yeah, thank thanks. You, yeah, yeah, I mean, for sure. For all of us, I think like one thing to mention for sure is the, is the local scene is really what I think we all had like a passion or an, an, an admiration for things that were going on. And with places like this and shit that was going on when we were younger. It was super rad, you know what I mean? We had yeah. somewhere to go, something to do. Yeah. And the more bands that just keep coming, it, like, it, it never stops around here, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So even if I get into a, a mood or a mode where I'm like, eh, I don't know if I want to do this anymore, something else happens, and then you're right back on, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it keeps bringing you back in, man. It's a right. passion, you know what I mean? So... Hey, man, I thank you guys for coming and sharing your talents, you know, and uh, and doing this interview with me. And uh, you guys got to check them out. You know, Get Bent. You know, I love the name. You know, it's like Thanks, everybody say that when we were in high school, Fuck man. Yeah. So let's fucking get out of here and go get bent. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, hey, man, best luck to you guys, man. Keep uh, doing what you're doing, man. Keep your nose to the grind, man. Appreciate you guys. And uh, Yeah, thanks for having yeah, us, man. Check them out. You know, watch their uh, live show. You know, go get their music. Check them out, man. Just get bent. So thank you, guys. Have a good night. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.